Hi you guys, this is Jamie with Whatever's Clever Boutique and today I have a super fun and unique tutorial for you. I am in Made by Manny and Mal's Elite Mentorship Group. It is the best group. If you're looking to join one, she's amazing. I will link it down below. But she had a challenge in her group last month where you send products to someone and they make a tumbler out of them. So these are the products that I received from my friend Rachel and here is what I created. So she sent me, it looks like a 30 ounce tumbler that's prepped as well as two glitters, Sangria and Dash, both from Chase Ray Creations. Then this gorgeous pearl iridescent vinyl. I have never seen this before. I absolutely love it. Then this kind of champagne -y gold vinyl two vinyls from Glamour Tribe Vinyl. As well as three tissue papers. These kind of threw me, but <laughs> you'll see what I came up with. And I really like the outcome of this tumbler. She also sent me a couple of freebies. These are also both from Glamour Tribe Vinyl. So I'm gonna work those into a tutorial as well later. But let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna start with the tissue paper. So all I'm gonna do here is tear these into little pieces that are manageable. Once we get all those tore up, we're gonna take our Mod Podge and we are just gonna brush this right on the tumbler and we're gonna take those tissue paper pieces and just apply them sporadically throughout. Once we get them all applied, we're gonna take that Mod Podge again and brush over to flatten them down onto the tumbler and to basically just completely cover them so they absorb the Mod Podge instead of the epoxy that we do later. We're just gonna go ahead and keep applying these until it completely covers our tumbler. Once we get that all applied, we're gonna let this tumbler sit overnight. We have so much Mod Podge on here, we wanna be sure it is completely dry. Then we're gonna go in with our first coats of epoxy. We're gonna take that dash glitter and just mix it right into our epoxy as we are going to be doing the cheek glitter method today. Once we get all of that epoxy applied onto the tumbler, we're gonna go ahead and let that cure. Now, while this is curing, we're gonna go in with these cute little flower molds and some hot glue. We're gonna use these little elements a little bit later, but we're just gonna fill up those little molds completely, and then we're gonna go ahead and let them dry before we demold them, and then you're just gonna have some really cute little flowers for our tumbler. Now I'm going to head 
head over to Etsy and I found this really cute floral, almost like silhouette background type file that I decided that I wanted to use for over top of my tissue paper portion of the tumbler. I will say, holy buckets, this took me so long to weed, but once I got it all weeded, it was totally worth it. And we went ahead and cut that out in that pearly, iridescent vinyl. This is seriously so pretty. I would use this on a tumbler by itself with some glitter behind it. <laughs> then we're gonna go ahead and use this geode file that I found on Etsy as well. And we're just gonna use that top portion of the geode. And we're gonna cut that out on both of our printed vinyls as well as that champagne -y gold vinyl. So I'm just gonna cut each one of those out and then weed off any of the excess. Now here's how I kept this all straight because I didn't want to necessarily throw away these little geode pieces. So I went ahead and I'm using this floral one as my base. So I took that floral piece out and I just set it on the edge of my desk so that I could replace it later. And then I took that same piece that was on the wood vinyl and I just laid that right in place of that other um, floral piece if that makes sense. So I'm gonna keep doing that throughout the tumbler. And there are some outline pieces here. I'm assuming that is for the um, outlining of the geode itself, if that makes sense. So I did weed those out as well for the spots that I'm going to apply the glitter. And those are the ones that are gonna stay white, as you can see there. And then I'm just gonna keep on going throughout this process until it is to my liking. And now here's what I did with those other big chunks that I took out. I went ahead and replaced them on the wood uh, geode piece and I could use that later for another tumbler. Now we're just gonna take some transfer tape and we are going to put that right over top of our vinyl. And we're gonna go ahead and now lay that on our tumbler. Do be careful when you lay this. As you can tell, I got a little bit of a bubble in my transfer tape and it caused me all sorts of headache. It didn't lay completely flat, so I had to go through, which I didn't keep in here because this tutorial would be super long, <laughs> but I had to go and adjust some of those geode pieces so that they went up higher on the tumbler on that right-hand side. Now we're gonna go ahead and take that floral uh, vinyl that we cut out and I'm just gonna trim away any of that excess just so I don't have to peel all of that off of the geode later. It just saves you a little bit of time. So we just trim that all out so it is the correct size and then we apply our transfer tape to that. And now we're gonna go ahead and lay that to the portion of our tumbler that has the tissue paper. We're gonna apply this using the hinge method today. Sorry, I was kind of out of frame there, but I went ahead and laid that one side down, taped it, peeled up a little bit of that backing on the other side. And we're just gonna go ahead and cut that off, apply that vinyl to the tumbler, and then we're gonna go ahead and remove that tape on the other side and just start peeling back that backing and apply the entire outline of these gorgeous flowers onto our tumbler. Once we get that all applied, here is why I cut off that excess, because as you see here, I have to basically take my X-Acto knife and cut around that geode portion and then we're going to remove all of that excess that is left on top of the geode. But that way we didn't have to pull off so much of that geode across the entire thing had we done a full wrap. 
now I'm going to take some Sangria Red acrylic paint from Arteza. Really, you can use anything here to base paint. Whatever color glitter you're going to use, it's best to use a paint that is somewhat similar to that color. And I'm just going to paint all of those open geode spots as well as the bottom of my tumbler. Again, I apologize for being out of frame. I was really struggling apparently <laughs> while filming this tutorial to stay in frame. But now we're gonna take, since our tumbler is base painted on the sections we're gonna glitter, we're gonna take some glitter glue and I'll go ahead and apply that sangria glitter. Once we get all of our glitter on, we're gonna go ahead and go in with one coat of our favorite epoxy. I use KS Resin Liquidy Split Ultra UV Epoxy. And now I'm gonna go in and do my big sand. So I'm gonna sand all across that rim and all over the sides of the tumbler. Once I get it all sanded, now we're gonna go in with that gold and we're gonna put that right on those little lines which I left in there when I applied the vinyl initially just so it was a good template for me as to where to lay the gold. So we're just taking the skinny lines, the outlines there, and we're gonna lay each one of those. This did take a little bit of time. It took some fandangling here and there because I didn't get it laid down perfectly or it was shifted too much. So I had to pull it all back up and relay them down. So it did take a little bit. You can totally use the paint pen here, but I really wanted to try and incorporate this gold vinyl. So I went ahead and did it this way. And once we get all of those outlines laid, I went in, I took my um, vinyl cutter and cut just a tiny strip of that gold vinyl just so that I can line that bottom of the tumbler. Once we get that laid, we're gonna go in with this SVG from Made by Manny and Mel. It says Be Bold, and I'm gonna do a triple layer offset here. So my first layer is going to be that wood grain vinyl, and then my second layer is going to be that floral vinyl, and then for the top layer, I'm gonna use that gold vinyl to tie all of the tumbler together.
To apply the SVG, or I guess the decal now, I'm gonna do my best to center it. It's not gonna be perfectly centered because the geode is a little bit off center, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna do my best here to lay that in the center. And once I get that all laid, we're then gonna go in with our little floral elements. So I have Carnation and Vladimir, both from Simply Sarah's Customs. And then I have Jacob and Oz, which are two greens. Then I have Pumpkin King and Tara. Tara is from Chase Ray, as well as Candlelight. And how I did this, and there may be a better way, this is the way that I thought of doing it the easiest, but there may be a way. If so, <laughs> help me out, because I got UV resin everywhere. So I took a brush with some UV resin, and as you can see here, I'm just brushing that all along that little leaf. And then I'm gonna take my paintbrush that I used for the copper and the gold, and I'm just gonna dip it in my mica and just dab it. And for this, I'm dabbing it all along the outside because that's what I want the outside color to be. And then I'm gonna go in with my green. I take that darker green and put it down the spine of the leaf. And then I'm gonna go in with that lighter green to fill in that area from the dark green and the gold. And I just do this until it's to my liking. And it, I mean, no rhyme or reason here. Do it however you would like, color it with, with whatever you'd like, a paint pen. I cho chose mica. Uh, again, <laughs> there could be a better and more efficient way but I really love how this turned out. Now to lay this down, I took my UV resin and just put a dab where I'm gonna go ahead and put that leaf. And I position the leaf and then I take my UV lamp and cure that right to the tumbler. Now we're gonna go in and do the same thing with our flower. And I am just showing you one of each here just because it is a long and tedious process. It did add a really cool effect to the tumbler, so I'm glad that I did it. And again, I apologize for being in and out of frame here. <laughs> I don't know if my camera was positioned in a different spot or what, but it <laughs> really was a struggle for this tutorial. Now, I didn't show you this with the leaf, but once we get that all cured onto the tumbler, I then take my brush with UV resin again and brush it all along that the flowers and the leaves to basically secure in all of that mica so it doesn't transfer to our tumbler when we go to apply our epoxy. So I brush that all over the flower and then I cure it again. And here's what it looks like with all of those gorgeous flower and leaf elements. I truly, truly love how this tumbler came together. It was so fun, really tested my creative limits, but it was so much fun. So now we're gonna go in with our final two coats of epoxy. I did use just the regular KS resin here because I needed a lot of working time. As you can see here, I am taking the time and this is sped up two times. So that tells you how slow I actually am going here. Um, I take my epoxy and just slowly brush it and make sure it's covering, covering every nook and cranny of those flowers and leaves and then the tumbler in between. So once we get those two coats of epoxy on our tumbler, our tumbler is finished. 
this challenge was so much fun. I absolutely love this tumbler. It turned out so darn cute. And I don't generally do 3D elements on my tumblers. I've done a few here and there for Halloween, but this was something outside of my comfort zone. And I had seen Rachel from Mitten Made Craft use hot glue to make icicles and stuff like that. And I was like, you know what? We're gonna try it with flowers and leaves and see how it works. So it worked out so well. I hope you guys love this tumbler. And I will be back here next week with another tumbler tutorial. Have a great rest of your day today.